Relationship Advice The first story is titled My ex-wife cheated on me before she left me for another guy. Six years later, now she's asking me to give her another chance to rekindle our relationship. My story is as old as time. We got married young, we were each other's first and thought we will leave happily ever after. Until two years into the marriage, my ex meets a guy on Facebook, they started chatting, developed an emotional affair, which later turned into a full-blown affair. All this time making me sound crazy, being cold and distant, lying and gaslighting me, bringing up things I am doing wrong in the relationship, until one day boom. D-Day. I confronted her. She lied at first, then confessed, asked for forgiveness promised to work on our marriage, and like a fool I am, I gave her another chance. She continued her affair and became even more secretive and good at hiding it. Until, we need to talk. I love you but I'm not in love with you, I'm not attracted to you anymore, and I have not been happy with our marriage, I think we need to end this marriage. I cried, I begged, I promised to improve on my part, I suggested counseling and all she could say is, I'm sorry there is nothing you can do about it. There is nothing you can do to fix it. All the 7 years of being together, all the beautiful happy memories and history, down the drain. A guy from Facebook with fancy cars and his own house steals my wife, and convinces her that she should pick him. She moves in with her affair partner. We got an uncontested divorce, no kids, no property. Cut all contact and we went our separate ways. Worst moments of my life and it took me more than a year to let it go and move on. I went back to college and completed my dream career. I get my dream job and my life gets back on track. Dating casually, traveling around the world, doing those things I always dreamt of. Life was good. Fast forward to last month I ran into my ex coming out of the therapist office. I hadn't seen her, until she called my name. She had changed, I don't know how to describe it but, she seemed a little stressed. She asks me for coffee at a nearby coffee shop. I accepted, and we chatted a bit, getting to catch up. Turns out her relationship with the other guy ended last year. The new relationship energy wore off, the butterflies stopped, and the other guy became jealous and abusive and started arguing more, her words. She has been going to therapy to figure out her own stuff. She then tells me that she never stopped loving me, it's just that the new guy came in and filled her with BS, which made her feel like she was not attracted to me and see all the bad things in our relationship. That's what her therapist told her. Well, she asked if I am seeing anybody else. I told her no, before I leave and make plans to hang out again. She does seem like she has changed and matured, and some part of me still loves her, and feels vulnerable towards her. She was my first love, a good, caring person, who everyone likes and was just caught up in the whole mess. And didn't know what to do. Anyway, all I want is a friendship and not a relationship but she doesn't understand that. She has been throwing lines indicating she's looking for a relationship. Now for the top advice of this post. Block her number and move on. Do not pass, go, do not collect $200. Man, you need a slap so I'm going to give you one. Don't be a freaking idiot and have some damn self-respect. She cheated on you, left you, divorced you, spent years sucking another guy's D and letting him ride her butt, and then when he was done with her, he dumped her. Now since she quite randomly bumped into you, she wants you back? Don't be a schmuck. Not only that, she randomly bumped into him, found out he's making enough money to do a lot of traveling, and then decided she wants him back. Run like your hair is on fire. Run. Isn't it stop, drop and roll? If he does that consistently every time she sees him, I think it would solve the problem too. She does seem, like she has changed and matured. Yeah, no. Her boyfriend's money and charm ran out and now she's out in the cold twisting in the wind. And now you are a viable meal ticket. Don't be a sucker. Hard agree. It's also pretty clear she hasn't matured or changed because she is perfectly happy to blame her affair partner for it instead of taking some freaking responsibility. He made me think I wasn't attracted to you or in love with you anymore, he just filled my brain with so much BS. Yeah. No. You are an adult woman with a proper brain in your head. Take responsibility. Personally, I think her shoving it off on the affair partner as his fault, is a huge red flag, she clearly doesn't understand that she, messed up and is likely to do it again. Now for the second story. My girlfriend of 6 months broke up with me after she met up with her ex 2 days prior. Alright everybody, new user here. Long story, so I hope you guys are in it for the ride. 
I had met this girl in college at a bar when I was 21 and she was 20 in late January 2018. She had just been out of a long-term relationship with high school sweetheart of 5-ish years or so. We hit it off instantly and it felt like love at first sight. We went home together the night we met at the bar and hooked up. We stayed up all night getting to know each other after multiple rounds of S and could both tell there was possibly something more here. From then on, we had been going on date slash hooking up and hanging with friends for about 6 months until mid-2018. After this we lost touch as I had moved cities for a job and she was in school, and she has transitioned into another relationship which I noticed from social media slash mutual friends. Maybe my fault I didn't pursue, and I guess I didn't really know what I wanted at the time, she was in school, I was working, 2 years older, long story short we moved on as our lives were very different at the time and we lived about an hour away from each other. So as time goes on, I notice more pictures of her and the new guy on Facebook slash Instagram etc. All the while she had been keeping in contact with me by sending me snapchats, replying to Instagram stories and the occasional DMs at 1 or 2 am asking how I was doing while dating him. It was pretty clear the girl either really still had feelings for me, or missed the s- probably a mixture of both, as we had gotten to know each other really well over the time we spent together. Well as she's dating new guy, for 1.5 years, they break up in early 2020. They had a falling out and broke up after going on a cruise together and from what I can put together, him cheating on her. She starts aggressively getting into my DMs once again, asking for snapchat and sparking conversation. I go with the flow as I was still very attracted to her and old feelings were popping up again. About 2 weeks after their breakup, I give her a call and suggest a hangout. She accepts, and we soon get into the best 6 months I've ever experienced. Stuff took off fast. We hooked up and slept at my place the first night. We start hanging out a few times a week for the next two months. We started dating with a girlfriend slash boyfriend title on it, just 2.5 months after their breakup. I met her parents, friends and extended family quick as she did with mine. We were going on dates and spending a lot of time rekindling and hooking up for the next 5 months or so. She told me she fell for me and loved me, and I reciprocated it and fell hard and fast. We were like two peas in a pod. Everyone in my social circle slash family loved this girl. All the while, she had been receiving phone calls from her ex-boyfriend. I brushed this off as she had said she doesn't respond to him. I'm a fool for trusting that and should have noticed the red flags from early on. Well long story short, she breaks up with me after asking for space and a break out of the blue in late summer 2020, which had me utterly confused as we had barely any fights, and were enjoying our time as a couple over here. Her reasons were, she wasn't ready for commitment, she still wants to marry me and loves me etc, but something is missing and she's confused as to what she wants. Two days prior to the breakup she told me she was meeting her ex for closure. I told her I wasn't for it, but if that's what she needs to do then so be it. BS. We've been broken up for a month and a half now, our pictures are off social media, I unfriended her on all socials and don't reach out to her at all, but she, occasionally reaches out via call slash text so see what slash how I'm doing. For the first few weeks after the breakup I did reach out via call and we met up twice to talk about things but it didn't go anywhere. I was pretty devastated and my actions post breakup, calling to get answers slash meetups, may have pushed her away more. I'm pretty sure she's trying to rekindle things with this guy although she told me multiple times, she wasn't going back to him. What the hell am I doing wrong and missing? I still love her, and part of me wants her back, but part of me knows it's completely wrong, if presented the opportunity to take her back. I'm 24 and she's 22 now. I don't want to be part of a freaking love triangle but I still have feelings. Was this a rebound relationship? Where do I go from here? I'm confused. Now let's read the top advice for this post. You are her second choice. She never got over her ex, and all your efforts since the breakup have done is make you look less attractive and more like a backup plan. Stop talking to her and just move on. Eventually, when things don't work out with her ex, she'll message you and tell you another story, one that also isn't true, to see if you want to get back together. Just move on, she'll never be a reliable partner. Agree with this. Understand that she likes you just fine probably has fun with you, enjoys the s, even has strong feelings of affection toward you. But she doesn't view you as her soulmate or the one, or whatever you want to call it. You're someone she's comfortable with that she can slip in and out of a relationship with when she's got nothing else going on. It's on you to break that cycle. I hear you completely. But I feel as though if the timing was different, things could have worked out. 
Anyway, I know my worth and she mentioned to me to wait for her but I told her I can't do that. She asked to be friends, I denied that as well, and ultimately I'm giving her this ultimatum that I'm not waiting around or will be friends with someone who will walk away after a romantic relationship. I know my value. Homegirl is a top tier manipulator and can't stand to be without a partner or with just one, apparently. You're dodging a bullet. You should respect yourself and move on. She wants to keep you around in case it fails with the other dude. Girls do that. Honestly, I would just completely rid her from my life, don't even bother with giving her an ultimatum. If she were to come back, she would eventually cheat when someone better comes. Unfortunately, she seems to not be over her ex yet, and they're likely going to break up again. But don't put yourself on hold waiting for that to happen. Now for the last story. My, 39 male, wife, 40 female, suddenly decided to leave. I'm at a loss as to what to do. A bit of background we've been together 19 years and, while not a perfect relationship and there were issues, there was nothing that explained her sudden, almost overnight change. On the personal side of things, we've gotten along and always enjoyed each other's company. We've got two older teenagers, 16 and 17, and the only major issue I've ever had is the lack of S in our relationship. While it sucked, there were reasons behind it on her end, so I didn't bring up the issue often but it has been present for the last few years. She's had body issues and lately, due to the global situation, she's been depressed and finally confessed to me self-ending thoughts and was put on some significant antidepressants. At first, I thought the antidepressants may be responsible for the change, but according to her doctor, she had mentioned she was considering leaving before the meds. One of the things she has said is, she wants me to find someone who will love me that I deserve but she doesn't think that's her. I think she still cares, but my mental state right now is just not conducive to sorting everything out. I still love her very much, and want to save our relationship but at the same time I'm not confident that it can be. Since this happened a month ago, I'm finding myself in a manic state, a massive roller coaster of emotions that's staring me apart. Some days I'll be okay, then others I'll be solo that I randomly burst into tears. She's been receptive and still willing to talk, and I have suggested everything from therapy, to maybe doing small date nights just her and I to which she said, not right away. Am I crazy to want to try to save things? Is she just trying to spare my feelings? If this is the end how do I move on? I'm almost 40, in bad shape and was never great in the dating pool. My confidence has never been as low as it is now. I'm completely lost. If I give her the space is there a chance she comes around? Is there a light at the end of the tunnel or is that just a train about to run me over? Ask questions, answer my questions whatever. There are probably more details I'm not considering due to my emotional state right now as well. Now for more info from OPN Top Advice. It's due to the depression. It impacts your sense of self-worth, and then you start feeling like you're not enough and that you're holding people back and that your partner should be with someone who knows how to be happy and normal. Once her depression has been managed better it should make it easier for you to connect again. I'd still keep talking to her and checking up on her, and maybe ask to see her to go on a walk regularly. It'll help, but maybe keep conversation to superficial things. Plain and simple, don't listen to the other three people that have replied. Listen, your wife is having a tough time of it right now. Midlife crisis? Depression? Self-ending ideation? She's likely left you, yes, thinking you'd be better off without her. She needs to get some therapy. And consistently check in with her psychiatrist. And time to feel her value again. And you could probably do with some therapy too. Good luck. I suggested therapy on the marriage counseling front but she didn't really respond to that. And I do think she needs to see someone, rather than just the family doctor. I'll try to tactfully breach the topic to her. I don't know. It really sounds like she needs individual therapy way more than marriage counseling. First things first. Also, yes, she likely needs to see a psychiatrist. Family docs can only go so far in treating mental health issues. Psychiatrists have much more extensive knowledge in that area, obviously, and really know what meds are best. Their stock and trade is med management. I think you're right on this and I do thank you for the perspective on it. I'm sure most of my issues are coming from being completely heartbroken over this. Hopefully, she'll take this advice and get herself the help she needs cause my number one concern is her well-being even above my own. 39 is the magic number my friend. Midlife crisis. She's seeing 40 ahead. They don't see themselves living the rest of their life out the same old same old. 
Some people go off the deep end completely change their lives. Just ask her what she wants change. And why are you in a bad shape? Bad shape being slightly overweight mostly. Been working on it the last few years but that's never been an issue in the relationship for either of us. And that's it for this video guys, if you have thoughts to share, leave a comment below. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you like this content. I'll catch you in the next one. Good day everyone.